It's a great day today. We've dug up so much ore. I already have a lot of iron and gold. How are you, Mike? Yeah, I'm doing great too. Look, I dug up three irons and one gold. We're the best miners. Great, Mike. There was coal on top. Wait, did you hear that? The police are there. Looks like something happened in that house, Mike. Maybe we should go check it out. Maybe something terrible happened there. And you and I, like always, can help these guys. Yes, we must help them. I hope we can do it. I love helping good people, especially the police. Let's go do it. I can already see a police squad. What just happened in this house on the outskirts? It's been standing here forever. Hello, officer. What happened here? Look, Mike, there are a lot of fences, military, and, and these guys look like they're getting ready to fight. Look, there's a guy with a gun. Mike, something strange. Officer, please tell me what's going on here. JJ Mike, today a real sea eater crawled out of the sea. He wanted to devour this house, but we managed to fight him off, and it looks like he will return soon. If you have the strength as well as intelligence, then be so kind as to go up and protect this house, please, and help us, of course. Wow, Mike. I think we 100% need to help these guys because if what they called a sea eater came out of the sea, this house would be in trouble. Yeah, we need to help quickly. Sea Eater, have you ever heard of such a thing, JJJ? I just haven't heard of such a thing. It must be dangerous. To be honest, I've never heard of sea devourers, but you and I have met different sea monsters and always dealt with them. So I think we should definitely deal with it this time. Look at the advanced technology these guys have. It looks like he's a scuba diver who is preparing to meet monsters using this big gun. It turns out that such a big gun must be a giant monster. Mike, it looks like we are going to meet something very monstrous. To be honest, I'm a little glad about this because I'm sure that you and I can definitely deal with anything. Okay, look, this is our position. I see a gun lying here. Okay, I'll take it and you take it too. And that's it, Mike. It turns out we aim and wait. Are you scared, Mike? to imagine how big this devourer is if there are so many people here and they all have such giant guns. Yes, Mike, it is quite dangerous, but I am still inspired by the fact that you and I are the coolest and strongest. We will definitely cope. Okay, let's aim and inspect the seabed. It seems like I don't see any of the monsters. And you, Mike? Oh, JJ, I think I see it. There's a huge monster swimming right at us. Hurry up and shoot it. Come on, Mike. Shoot faster. Shoot right in his mouth. Otherwise, he'll eat this house. Run away. Run away. Mikey, look. He's biting the house. Hey, get out of here. Shoot him in the belly. We have to destroy this monster. Otherwise, he'll eat this house. Carefully. Look, he's stepping back. He's stepping back. We can shoot him again. It looks like he's in pain, Mike. He's in pain. Great. We're doing it. We're doing it. He's going to run away. No. He's attacking again. Run away. Quietly. Carefully. The military is shooting there too. Look, he's scared. He's running away. That's it. He swam to the bottom of the sea. Ha ha. That's a sea eater for sure. He was scared of ordinary people, the military, Mike. You and I got it. Well, I don't know, JJ. He could come back and hurt everyone. He's still alive. I think he'll come back here. We have to stop him somehow. Yeah, let's do it. Look, that guy looks cool. Maybe he's one of the top divers? We could borrow his submarine, for example, and go after that monster eater to finish it off, finally. And, of course, save this whole house. Because I'm sure, like you said, that monster will come back after a while, and you and I will be ready and destroy it in advance. Hello, diver. We would like to go on a journey with Mike to find this sea monster and destroy it. JJ Mike, that's a great idea. Take the submarines, but be careful, we already sent a team there that didn't come back. We sent them about a day and a half ago, and there's been no word from them. There wasn't even a radio signal, so be careful, JJ and Mike. Okay, Mikey, you and I are ready. Are you ready to destroy the Sea Eater? He looked impressive, and our adventure will be very dangerous, but I think we can handle it. Yeah, JJ, let's get in those submarines and head straight for that monster in the deepest depths. Let's do it. Okay, I'm all geared up. And look. There are light blocks. We can follow them straight to that monster. I think it looks like they were leaving a trail behind him. Mike, look, there's a big depression. Do you see it? Yes, it's gigantic. I think that's where he came from. We have to get into this hollow. 
and then find this sea eater. Yeah, let's do it. Carefully, the main thing is not to die. Okay, there's some kind of cave here. You can't get there in this submarine, so let's disembark. Let's leave the boats here. I hope no one takes them with them. Although, who needs them here? At most, a sea monster will eat them. Wow, Mike. This is the same guy who went here. Remember how he talked about some group that went after this monster? Looks like this is one of them, and he was carrying a potion with him, which he dropped. But you and I will need these potions, because you and I will be able to see in the dark. Mike? Great. Can you see everything? Yes, my vision has improved a lot. Oh my god, JJ, it's just awful in here. Come here faster. Wow, Mike, it's a shame we started seeing things, because it looks like there's a giant monster here. I forgot its name, but it's really scary. And it looks like it's feeding here. Look at all those skeletons. I hope it's not the same group of scientists that went here. Mike, this is bad, of course. But we need to get through that passage. See it in the distance? Yeah, JJ, but how are we gonna get through? There's a giant monster right here that could eat us if we fall into the water. Mike, I think we can get through here. Along the rock, look, it looks like it has some strange black eyes. Maybe it's blind and only hears sounds. So be very careful. Okay, and here we'll have to jump into the water. Okay, Mike, I'll go first. I'll be as quiet as possible. And then maybe you follow me? Great, Mike, I'm swimming. Come on, to me, Mike. Be careful, the main thing is that it doesn't touch you. That's it, we've passed this terrible place. Oh look, there are two more sea monsters here, but it looks like someone dealt with them. That someone is that diver. Mike, are there survivors? Hello, what happened here? JJ and Mike, I fought them for a long time, but the only cannon that could destroy them, I found this cannon right in these ruins. Take it from the chest and destroy that giant monster. This cannon really works against sea creatures. I already checked, but I can't handle this giant. I'm too tired. I rely on you, JJ Mike. Mike, okay, let's do this. I already got myself a gun, you take it too, and we'll go straight to that monster. Looks like... Wait, JJ, do you have any more potion? I think I can't see anymore. Yeah, here you go, Mike. That's it, we can finally see. Now get ready to fight. Look, there he is, the giant Mike. Shoot him straight. We have to destroy him, Mikey. Come on, shoot. We'll take him down, that's for sure. This is the final fight we'll handle. Great. By the way, I'll try that last gun now. Maybe it'll even be more powerful, because that scientist didn't know about this gun. JJ, my gun is almost overheated, but I hope this monster will explode soon. Look how bad he is from our shots. We almost won! Congratulations! So, Mike, let's get our tools so we can go dig our mine and get some ore. Because you and I just got a job with the miners, right, Mike? Yes? We should go quickly and find something good. Because I think the guys there have already collected a lot of things. We should not lag behind them. Yeah, I agree with you. Let's go look at this mountain. There's coal visible right here. Look. And you dig a little to the right. We can dig up a lot of coal, then sell it. And finally, you and I will buy ourselves a brand new house, Mike. It's so cool how much coal there is here. Stop. Look, Mikey. Those are the workers with whom we dug a giant mine yesterday. Remember them? Yeah, that's awful. Something terrible happened to them. I don't think they're alive anymore, JJ. I don't know what happened to them, but it feels like something attacked them. It looks like they found some redstone and were about to dig it up. But then someone came. Okay. Let's go find out from our lead miner what's going on here. Because he might not even know. But I hope he at least realizes that this is some kind of horror. And we need to call the police or at least figure this out, Mike. Okay, there's his apartment. Let's get in there and check it out. Or find him. I don't know where he is. Mike, look. What kind of monster is that? Do you see it? Yeah, it's horrible. What is it? Oh no, JJ, get away. It's blowing something up. I think it's very dangerous. I know, look, he's throwing some explosive stuff right out of his head. It feels like a monster house, look. He's running somewhere. Let's follow him so we know where he's gone. Look, he jumped into the water. Look, he's about to dive. He's about to dive. Yeah, he swam right to the bottom of the lake. Wow, Mike, this is the first time I've seen a monster like this, you too? Yeah, that's weird. Let's go ask the boss. Maybe he knows what's going on here. Maybe he knows something. Yeah, most likely. Let's take a look around first. Look, there are some submarines here. Maybe there was some kind of study of Mike here, and this monster went to the very bottom. I hope you and I won't have to go after it, and it will come out. 
Agreed? Yes, that won't be very good. Okay, come on. Hello? What's going on here? Why are our workers lying there, unconscious, and some scary monster wandering around here? Hello, JJ Mike. Now some scientists have started their research in a very deep lake. And after some time, the scientists stopped communicating. But then a house of the head crawled out of this lake. This is a scary monster that blows up everything in its path and kills too. JJ Mike, if you can, try to use the technology of these scientists and get to the very depths of this lake to eliminate this monster. Without you, we have no chance. And I have already called the police and the military. They will be here soon. But you guys can probably save those scientists who are at the bottom of this lake. Mike, have you heard? It's a scary monster house. Wow, I've never heard of such a thing. I was right. It really does look like a monster house. Let's try to find their equipment and go down to the very bottom of this lake. We'll have to go down there after all. Are you scared? Of course, it seems to me that it is very dangerous there. You must be extremely careful. Oh, look, a chest. There is a mask and potions in it. Let's use one of these potions and put on a mask. It will give us some oxygen. It looks weird on me, but it will do. Oh, it will be easy to spot. Two submarines, Mike. Come on. This one will be mine, and the right one is yours. Great. Now we can easily go to the bottom of this lake. Look, there are some ancient ruins here. Blue. By the way, I haven't seen such ruins for a long time. Do you agree? Yeah, they look really weird. Oh no, JJ, look, they look like scientists. Seriously, scientist? Yes, those are the scientists. It looks like they're submarine. It's just like ours, only those scientists are no longer alive. They probably suffocated underwater. It feels like they were running from something, but something ate them. It looks like it was that scary monster house. Oh, look, there looks like an entrance to those ruins. Let's take a closer look. Maybe we should try going in there. Let's try, but be careful. Let's go in together. Let's park our submarines here. Hopefully we won't be as much of a scumbag as those guys. Great. Look, these are ancient ruins. Looks like this monster lives here. Only there are some lasers here and we need to carefully go around them so we don't get burned. Yes, the test is terrible. And how did these scientists manage to get in there? Come on, follow me and you will definitely pass these lasers without damage. Occupied move after me. Yeah, I can do it. I can go around it here carefully. And here too, okay? And here you can just go along the left side. Just be careful. This one is kind of dangerous. And this one is not dangerous at all. Strange tests, of course, but you and I survived. And that's the most important thing. Now let's open this door and look, more scientists, one, two, three scientists, and some strange hieroglyphs. It looks like these guys were trying to summon a demon or they came down here and this demon was summoned and this demon is it. That house is a monster and there's some kind of chest here. Mike, look, these are tools, weapons with which we can deal with these monsters. I suggest you take off our oxygen masks and in principle, now we can deal with anyone. We have a sword, some kind of strange gun. Perhaps these guys, on the contrary, wanted to kill this monster, but they failed. Look, there's some kind of hole here. Yeah, I think we need to go there and avenge those guys because we need to make sure there are no more victims. Agreed. It's a pity, of course, that we didn't find any living beings here, but okay. Our main goal now is to kill this monster. Be careful, Mike. Don't crash. There's a pretty steep slope here and you have to be careful, okay? Here, here, and here. Great. Okay, there's a passageway going somewhere here, but I think if we dig, no, Mike, there's no passageway there. All we can do is go this way. Look, there it is. Can you see it? How's head monster? Careful, let's try to hit him. Where is he? Where is he going? There he is, Mike. He could be hiding. Hit him, hit him. Mikey, shoot, run away, Mike, run away. I'll try to shoot him with this cannon. It looks like the sword has no effect on him. Run away, Mike, great, I got him. More, more, Mike, be careful. Don't get caught in those explosions or you'll be dead. More, more, come on, come on, monster, die. Mike, I'm trying my best. Do you think we'll kill him? Yes, we defeated him. It was really strange, but he died. Yeah, Mike, I agree. It looks like those swords couldn't hurt that monster at all. But we got it all with that gun. Let's go up there, Mike, 
and try to tell our boss that everything is fine. I think he'll be happy with this information and we'll definitely need to call the police here. The main thing is to get out of here carefully. Okay, you can jump up here, Mike. How are you doing? Can you climb up? If anything, hold the ground. Yes, thank you. I just can't figure out how to jump over these stones and get to you. Apparently, I need to enroll in a parkour school and I'll jump over everything just like you. It seems to have worked out. Now let's get outside and talk to that miner of ours. Just be careful, Mike. There are those lasers again. No one turned them off. Well, basically, there seem to be fewer of them. Look, it was easy to run here. There are fewer of them, Mike. Come on in. Don't be afraid. Okay, we're going to our main, right? JJ. Oh, JJ, this was a tough fight, but we made it. We have to go to our main and tell him everything that happened. Yes, I agree, Mike. Hello. In the end, we defeated this monster, but unfortunately... Good morning. Oh, JJ, what's wrong with you? You seem to have changed. You've become smaller. Have you seen yourself? You're very small. What's wrong with you? Mike, are you kidding? You're 100% kidding. Look, I'm... Wait, why am I the size of this bed? Look at me, Mike. I turned into a real baby. I'm so tiny. What the hell? What happened? I just went to bed. I was fine. And then I turned into this little JJ. This is 100% some kind of curse, Mike. So let's figure this out today. Come on, JJ, but be careful. You're so small and fragile now. You need to be watched. What if someone attacks you or steals you? So I'm watching you. Let's go outside and see what's going on around here. Mike, even though I'm fragile, I can do anything. I have a diamond sword. I can do anything. So come on, follow me. Hey, resident, he's as small as me. Look, exactly the same, only his head is bigger. Hello, what's going on here? Why have we all become small? JJ and Mike, this is horrible. A witch has settled in our village and she's turning everyone into little children. And then the regular villagers started disappearing too. I don't know what it is, but all our villagers are very afraid to leave their houses. And I'm alone. What should I do? Um, we'll help you. Mike and I will go to this witch's house, find her and ask her to give us the antidote. Do you agree, Mike? Yes, JJ. You need to be very careful. If anything happens, call for help immediately. I will help you and save you in any situation. Yes, I am the strongest in this world. Even though I am small, I can do anything. But for some reason, I got tangled up in the grass. Why is the grass so gigantic? Okay, Mike, let's not joke. Here you go. I have armor. What if it's the witch Zolaya? Because I don't understand her intentions at all. Now I have small armor. By the way, my armor has also shrunk, and yours is normal. Strange. Okay, let's go straight to that giant house. I hope that the witch is still at home, and we can get through to her. Hey, witch, come outside. It's me, JJ. This is my friend Mike. We want to talk to you. Why did you cast a spell on me? I don't think we can get through here, JJ. The door is closed, and I can't see anything nearby. What do you think we can do? I suggest we go around this house and see if there's another entrance because this witch is weird. No, Mike, there's nothing here. Do you have any ideas on how we can get into this house? Look, it seems there are a lot of vines here that you can climb. And from the roof of the house, you can see what we can do. Maybe there is a hatch there or some secret passage. Yeah, Mike, I agree. I can hear the villagers there. It looks like those villagers that little guy was talking about are up there, and we're going to save them. I'm sure that witch is really bad, so this is a great plan, Mike. Let's climb up those vines. It's a bit hard for me to climb because I'm really short. Great, we're up there. It's scary how high it is. Do you see that? Oh, Mike, look, there's a hatch we can get through. Go ahead, you first. Good job. Now me. So, what's up there? A skeleton, Mike. Look, do you see that? Do. Yeah, I think she did some experiments on people. It's terrible, JJ. There's a lot of potions and vials here. Better not touch it. Something else might happen. It could be even worse. Maybe I'll turn into an old man, to be honest. That would be more pleasant. Okay, let's go down further, Mike. I don't see the witch here. There's a passage to the second floor. And look, it's more interesting here. There are residents here. It looks like she really did experiments on them. Various vials, potions, and here's a spilled potion. It's definitely better not to touch it, Mike. 
and not to approach. I suggest you capture all this and go down. We have to find this witch. Come on, Mike, go down. And here are all the residents. Hey guys, run out faster, but be careful. If you see the witch, then run. Mike, do you see this? Yes, they are people, but I think they are scared, JJ. I don't think they will come out. We have to wait. Terrible things have been done to them and they are in bad shape. Yeah, I agree. But you guys still don't be afraid. This witch won't touch you anymore. Although she's still alive, we'll destroy her. Let's move on, Mike. You can open the doors here, but this door won't open. This seems to be the exit. And now it's not clear where we should go. Although there are some hatches here. Probably this is the basement. Oh, Mike, how quickly you went there. Okay, let's go and see what's there. Mostly, some terrible things happen in basements. Mike, it's a trap. How can we get around it? But look, there is still a chance to get into this basement. For example, right this second now. Great, I did it, Mike. Be careful. The main thing is that you don't get pierced by this thing. Come on, well done. Wow, just one second and you would have been gone, Mike. What a dangerous guy you are. Okay, let's look around now. Here we have, she keeps the emeralds. So she stole them from ordinary people. And there's milk here, we'll need it, Mike. Here, just in case we need it. Okay, we need to move on. And then, wow, it looks like a sewer. Do you see that? Yes, JJ, I think there are steps and a ladder. Maybe we should try climbing them? Yeah, let's do it. We don't have a choice anymore. Like, we can jump here, it's awful to be little. I can't jump properly, and here, only the ladder ends here. And I see this ladder, there it is. It broke. Looks like someone tried to climb it. Or this witch was running away from us. And she knew we were coming. And then she threw the ladder down. Mike, I have a brilliant idea. Let's climb to the very top of the ladder. And we'll climb to the very top via this sewage. If anything, it's poisonous. That's why we'll use milk. Are you ready? Let's do it, Mike. The main thing is, don't be afraid. It's scary, but I can handle it. It's high here, and if you fall, it will be terribly neat. Yes, we can jump. Come on, Mike, and float with the current to the very top. I feel really bad, but I can stand it. Great. We're almost there. We're on top. Now drink your milk. There you go, Mike. We did it. How do you like it? Great. Only, oh, by accident, you fell the second time. But never mind. I have another milk. That was certainly hard, JJ. I thought we were going to die. Now let's move on and find that witch. Yeah, I'm going to die that monster too, but you and I got through it. And I see a new obstacle. There are a lot of enemies there. Do you see them? I suggest you shoot them with a bow. I think it's in that witch's minion. Mike, are you ready? Shoot. Come on. More. Great. One of them is running. Shoot him. Ready? And those far ones can be killed too. Well done, Mike. Congratulations. We destroyed those monsters. And by the way, they were guarding some kind of chest. It looks like they were guarding laser cannons. Great. If anything, that laser cannon will be a great weapon for dealing with the witch. There's another passage here, but these sewage waters don't scare us anymore, so we can easily get through. Mike, it looks like we've made it into the witch's real lair. Look, there are skeletons here, and it looks like she forgot to close the door. And here are two villagers, a policewoman and another girl. Mike, get them out. Press this lever. Okay, we need to free them. We need to press the lever and everything will be fine. Done. They're standing still now. Guys, if anything happens, run away quickly. We'll find a way up now. I see a ladder here and I'm sure we'll be able to get through with it. There's an ax right here and we can break through this thing. Okay, great, Mike. I'll break it now. Step back, please, because I can't break it. Done, and we've made it into our house. Was there a witch living under our house all this time? Oh my God, JJ, it turns out, yes, that's why you became small. She could easily sneak into our house and do this to you, but where is the witch? Then she might have already run away somewhere. I suggest we go outside and look around. I think she didn't have time to run away. Suddenly she, there she is, Mike. Look, she didn't have time to run away. Hey, hello there, JJ, Mike. It was me who put a spell on you, JJ, but now I'm going to destroy this village because I've prepared the coolest monster transformation potion. Here I am, get ready, run. Mike, run, over here, quick, run. Look, she's running towards us. Be careful, if anything, remember, we found those lasers. Shoot her, come on, Mike. 
Great. If anything, don't get caught by her potions. She throws some weird potions. If we get caught, we can die. So shoot, Mike. Come on. Come on. Come on. She didn't expect us to steal those guns. Run away. Run away. She's throwing potions again. She took off, Mike. Look. She's flying. She's on our house. Shoot her, Mikey. Come on. We won. We destroyed the witch. Congratulations, Mike. Yes, JJ. It was so scary. She was chasing us with these potions, but we were able to destroy her and free the residents she had taken into custody. Yes. Mike is the only one, but I'm still a kid, and it looks like we'll have to figure this out in our next adventure. And you guys, like it? Subscribe to the channel. It was me, JJ, and Mike with you. Good luck to everyone, and bye-bye.